Jasim, thank you very much for being here. Um, today we're going to talk about the Abanos World Challenge. It's a big event. Uh, not many people know what the Abanos World Challenge is uh, about. There is a uh, Maestro Abano competition in the Cuban cigar scene, uh, and there's also this Abano World Challenge. So what I know is that the Abanos World Challenge is dedicated to the aficionados, to the people who don't work um, uh, for Abanos, directly or indirectly, and the uh, Maestro Abano is for people who work in a, uh, who sell Cuban cigars in the uh, Casa del Abano or in Abano Specialist. Good evening. Thank you so much, Laurent, uh, for yet another beautiful segment on Habanos News. Uh, coming to Habanos World Challenge, uh, it's one of the best competition in the world for the Cuban cigar lover. If you are a Cuban cigar lover and you have, your passion takes you to the next level, you know many things about Cuban cigars, not just smoking and understanding about production, cultivation, boxing, uh, aging, and in the end, pairing, blind tasting. All these aspects are open in front of your eyes during the Zabanos World Challenge. So it usually happens in the Festival of La Habano each year in the end of February as a part of the Habanos Festival program. But before you reach there, the local distributors of each country put forth two members or two participants together as a team. So you can compete a local competition where distributors organizes this competition to discover the two unique members representing the country of that distribution and representing in Cuba where you have you're competing with the world's biggest aficionados at that year. And there is nothing beyond this on the knowledge of Habanos. But so they send the best, but to do so, they need to do qualifications. That's correct. And so anybody who is a cigar aficionado, loves a cigar, wants to know more, get the knowledge, technical, the tasting knowledge, can go, contact the local distributor and say, I'd like to join the, first, the qualification for next year uh, World Habanos Challenge. So you register, uh, it's better to do it as a team, but if you're on your own, you can ask them if there's someone who can join you. And then you need to learn. How do you learn? I know you have trained people and you have trained people who, were, who won the World Habanos we Challenge. You are one of the winners of the world in 2020. Yes, uh, the last one. The last one. Yes. And uh, the Habanos World Challenge, uh, if you have many contestants in your local uh, representing country, then the distributor will put forth a local competition. And it's exactly the same concept of Habanos World Challenge in Cuba. It's a similar aspect, happens in the local world. And two uh, members will win as a team uh, in the global level. And the distributors will uh, train them, help them to the level of international competitors. And you participate in Cuba. So in order to go there, uh, how do you get ready? How do you plan your, your studies? So uh, the predominant uh, book about Habanos World Challenge for you to learn the world of Habano book created by Habanos a few years ago. This book covers everything about a Habano until 2013-14. But beyond that, there are many new cigars have released. There are many new aspects have been developed like Ear of Tiger, Year of Ox, these kind of cigars, new releases, commemorative releases. You gotta learn that from the Habanos website. So your major learning happens from the book. It's all La Casa Habano and Habano specialist shops selling these books and you can buy them, learn this wonderful book. It's a great book. You will be learning many aspects of cigar world and then Habanos website. You gotta watch what's new all the time because Habanos releases new cigars every year and many things happening around the world. Maybe you can watch Habanos News to learn and understand what's new on so-and-so occasions and this way that you're educated what's new because not everybody uh, completely on, online in uh, the world and you simply can watch a particular program as yours and you can learn everything about it for a new cigar.
No, there, there, there are different tools to use. Um, so the book is the first thing to start with to understand everything from the seed to the, uh, the box of cigars. Then you have to learn about the new releases, obviously, so you can go to uh, Cuban Cigar website, you can uh, register to Half Wheel, Cigar Aficionado, and then you have to know the new cigars are there. You got to be there, you know, uh, reading all these books. Yes. Reading all these articles. Yes. And so that you don't miss any aspects in this championship. Because this championship does not cover just Vitolario, not just understanding the ring size and the length of a cigar. It's about understanding the whole concept. Then a blind tasting is there as a part of the oh, program. There is blind tasting. There so blind tasting, tasting, you cannot, I mean, as you know, I, I have I've studied wine and blind tasting, uh, even though you can't really recitate it, you cannot learn it by heart. There are a lot of things that you have to learn about blind tasting. So you need a particular training. And as I, from what I have understood, I've learned is that blind tasting, first thing you have to know is to, uh, once you have a cigar in your hand without the ring, uh, is to uh, recognize what it is. But so the first thing you have to find out is the ring size. It's the visual look on the cigar is important exactly. because a robusto, uh, as a robusto cigar has a 124 millimeter in length by a 50 ring size. When you look at a petty robusto or a gordito, it's a little bit different. But without the ring, sometimes it all yes. looks the same yes. for your eyes. The difference between a robusto and a, and a petty robusto can be five, is five millimeter. Absolutely, and it makes a, it's very difficult. When you uh, remove the ring, it's always oh, looks yes. slimmer, yes. bigger. Yes, depends the cigar on is naked <laughs> and it's a big, big, it makes a big difference. So yes, you, you have to train on that. As far as the tasting is concerned, uh, um, there are ways, I'm sure you, can, you, you, you train people on, on how to differentiate one brand from another one. Once you have the ring, once you have the length, uh, you can eliminate some brands and then depending on the taste, uh, if it's strong, if it's medium, full flavor, you can also elim eliminate some other brands. I, I guess it's like one, you proceed by elimination. Yeah, it's a process of elimination. Yeah. But in Habano's uh, World Challenge, in the blind tasting segment, you can get marks even if you are not 100% correct. Meaning, uh, if you are able to identify the ring and the length, you already gathered a particular mark okay. of that particular segment. And then if you're able to understand the strength, it carries another mark. And then if you're able to say the name, commercial name and the factory name, that is another mark and the brand is another mark. So completely it carries a big mark. The Havana's World Challenge revolves around two major aspects. One is the blind tasting and the knowledge of Havana, knowledge of a Havana. You cannot win all the understanding on the Habano and if you don't know the blind tasting side you lose because okay. the big you need to be good at everything absolutely okay it's not an easy task because a competition is different than when you just simply smoke because you have to do it in a minimum time and you have a smoking time of uh, 40 minutes let's say depends on the Vitola and you gotta say what is that cigar for you okay. and it's a 30 minutes question uh, of 30 questions, it carries 30 marks, 30, 35 marks, it, it changes sometimes, and blind tasting. And in the end, you are able to choose a particular cigar uh, in advance, because Habanos will give you 10 cigars to choose from, and you are supposed to pair that cigar with a beverage of your choice. So you can choose anything in the world. It could be water, it could be coffee, it could be cognac, it could be anything what you think is the right fit for that cigar. This information you give in advance in the local competition to the distributor and you will be presenting that cigar in pairing in a team as a show, like a theatrical show where you present that cigar together with the pairing in front of the judges oh. and in front of the viewers and you win that championship. This is the copy that happens in Havanos, in the ha Sorry, it's it's what exactly it's what happens when you train in the um, at the distributor level until the Monday 
when you do it in front of um, the panel in Havana. That's correct. So then you get marks. It's usually, so it's exactly the same uh, as what you've done before to win uh, and to, be, to represent your country or your distributor. But then once you are, uh, they, they, they decide on the two best pairs the two best uh, of two, pe two people and then there is a final uh, among those two people and it's on the Friday uh, morning and, and but then uh, the rules change it's a totally different competition you have buzzers it's like a game on television and that is a bit more stressful uh, because you don't really know what to expect so you have a, you have a question coming on the screen and you have the finalists that's two teams, uh, comprised of two people, each team. And the first person who touched the buzzer have the opportunity to answer that question correct. If you're wrong, that question will be forwarded to the other participant and they, are, they have the possibility of winning it. So that you have to be very careful because maybe some questions, it carries only two options. So if you're wrong, automatically the competitor gets the mark. Will win. So okay. you have to be really sure about your answer so that you win, you have the best chance. So that is a buzzer happens in the final. It also happens another blind tasting. Uh, the preliminary round will have one blind tasting and then the final will have another blind tasting. This blind tasting, you will be able to identify the cigar and you cut light again and then you pair it with whatever beverages which Habano has given to you in the stage. Okay. So you have to pair from the selections what they have given to you of best of your knowledge. And then in the end, you have a wonderful segment that is the roulette where you, you, use, you move this roulette and you are getting a lucky concept. You mostly have four concepts in there. The concept could be one is Habano's festival, one is Vitolario, Another one could be Habano's factory. Another one would be pairing. So you have to create a stage show spontaneously within five minutes. So you have 15 minutes of presentation time for each team. In this 15 minutes, you can prepare in five minutes. You have free time to prepare. And then another 10 minutes you can present based on the concept which you have got as the luck. Okay, and so it's you like a theater play. It's like Absolutely. a theater play. You should be, be a, you, sh you have to uh, show what you know about a Habano in these 10 minutes. It's like a bodybuilding. You know, you prepare everything in years in advance. You literally have this uh, 10 minutes time to show what you know. And you have to make the best of those 10 absolutely. minutes. Absolutely. Okay, then it's, uh, so there are only two teams left and one of them is gonna win and is gonna win the Habano's World Challenge. So for these people who are all aficionados, who have a different job, they don't work in Havanos. Absolutely. They're, uh, they're working in the bank, they're working... It's in the highest level of knowledge. Wow. They, and it changes your life. Even I have a great respect for the competitors. Yes, it's very Because difficult. they're winners to start with. Because, uh, like I always say, it's like uh, Usain Bolt, you know. Uh, the 100 meter race, you finish in uh, so and so seconds. But the number two is just few micro milli minute seconds behind him. It's the same thing. The marks between the first and the second team in the final is literally two marks or three marks. Yes, it's frustrating, but that's what Nobody happened. remembers number two. No, Everybody it's remembers true, it's number true. One. But when you fail on the first time, you can try to participate the next year and win. So um, this is a great, great um, challenge to win. Uh, so for people who really, really want to do, go on this journey, you read the books, the, go on the website, follow what's happening, uh, try to remember as much as you can, register with your um, uh, distributor uh, to attend the qualifications. If you're lucky, you get the qualifications, then depending on the distributor, they will fly you to Cuba, they will register you, and they will invite you to attend um, the, um, the Habano Festival. They will probably also help you with the accommodation and uh, then you're gonna you're gonna attend it's so a great gift it's uh, a great gift in cuba i mean it's a travel the accommodation being the part of the festival yes it's one of those things which you do in your bucket list being a cigar aficionado and a cigar collector a cigar lover is something which you cannot miss why not i believe that many many participants will come forward 
after watching this video yes. compete to yes. be part of this great culture? Yes, so if you have some free time to study, um, and if you want to go on this journey, if you like, if you, if you know that this is something you want to do, um, contact your distributor, ask them to, uh, to attend the qualification. You will see what level you have. Oh, Maybe their life changes after yes. the winning, even yes. in the local competition. Uh, their life changes, you know, the recognition what you receive of in course. Havana. Yes. Being part of representing a country and yes. also being a winner of the world. Exactly. Life changes. Exactly. And especially when uh, it's a good way to meet people. First of all, you have a partner. Uh, you'll meet other people. You'll make friends. You'll know the distributor. You'll know the big people involved uh, in your local um, uh, community. You'll know the people who love and take their cigars seriously. So you'll make new people. You'll meet new people. Uh, you will attend um, some events, uh, some people doing um, e dinners, evenings, they will invite you. So it's also a great way to get into the Abanos community. And then you can also uh, go to the festival with them uh, later on. Even if you don't succeed in, qualifi in qualifying for the final, you can also uh, go and support the people who are, who are qualified because Every you've met them. Every journal will write about them. Yes. You know, I'm sure you will be interviewing the Havanos World Challenge winners. Yes. And you will be recognized uh, worldwide. Now the social media is the, the king. And yes. everybody will know before you, you don't even know them. Uh, and all, they all know you. Yes. It's, so It's a great recognition. A message to everybody who's watching uh, and is uh, now interested in, uh, in joining. Um, don't hesitate, contact your distributor and join the next qualifications and uh, that will give you a, a good idea of the level of the people there. If you can qualify, you'll go to uh, the Abano, Abano, uh, World Challenge, Abano's World Challenge in Cuba and maybe you win. So, Jasim, thank you very much for uh, letting us know uh, all of uh, this information. There is an app, there is an app on Android and iPhone uh, about the Abanos World Challenge. A lot of questions and answers. It's a good way to start. Watch Cuban Cigar website. It is great. Amazing. And uh, also uh, subscribe to as many uh, uh, websites as you can, like Half Wheel, Cigar Aficionado. Habanos itself. Habanos you know. itself, of course. They are, uh, the Habanos website is, uh, is really Getting, is updated in is the updated last get, and uh, uh, subscribe on Instagram. They will send you information about the the, the new cigars. Thank you very much, Jasim, and I hope to see you at the next Abanos World Challenge. Absolutely, and I, hope, I will be there watching this beautiful uh, program. I hope I'll be with you, and I hope I'll be able to interview you, uh, the participants and the winners. Lovely. We will we'll all see you in Havana and being a participant, if not a festival lover, a Havana lover. See you soon. Thank you. See you soon.